歡迎收睇今日嘅清幽財神，我哋嘅主持阿湯，有我哋今日亦都有啊，我哋另一位嘅主持阿 Susan。唔好上嚟一個禮拜，你竟然唔記得我名，好過分啊 ！Susan， 我哋今日有邊個喺度陪我哋一齊做節目先？誒，今日唔單止有兩位靚女，恆姐靚啊，仲有兩位好叻嘅靚女，佢哋就係 Janella 同埋 Jenna。Hello， say hi to everyone。Hi。咁我知道誒，嗱、um, ，Jennifer 同 Jennifer 咧，就係、是、我哋 Chinese Inspired Fashion Collector 嘅其中兩個 designer 啦。咁我上次都 show 過誒、呃，另外兩個 designer 同我哋嘅誒 coordinator。咁今次又請到兩另外兩個 designer 上嚟啊。咁啊 ，should we start 啊、uh, ，Jennifer？ Sure。Yeah。Sure。So 啊、uh, <laughs> ，Jennifer，what？ 啊、uh, ，tell me how how what。How did you get into fashion? How did I get into fashion? Yeah, well, like, like school-wise or like in terms of school. School. Well, like why do why do you like fashion so much? Like you could pick from math, business, why fashion? I stink at math. So <laughs> math. math is not an option. Not an option. <laughs> it's never been an option. Yeah. Um, I've always liked design, and I've always liked clothes, and um. Like That's from, from all girls. <laughs> yeah, it's true. But I mean, like, I I knew that like I had the artistic ability to be able to do fashion, and it seemed like it was really tangible to me. So that's what I chose. And like, I wanted to be a fashion designer from, I guess, since I was like twelve. It's twelve. Yeah, that's like I knew what school I wanted to get into, what program I wanted to get into, and that was like my goal to get into Ryerson since I was twelve. So, so getting into Ryerson since twelve. No, not since twelve. Right? I wanted to you go want since twelve. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, but uh, back then it was still a college, is that right? Yeah, yeah. No, but I knew but like that, like that shift didn't affect you in any in any way. Um. Well, it like by the time it was time for me to go to university, it was already university, so that was fine. Um. And it was Probably even better. better. <laughs> yeah, because then you get a you get a degree when you when you get out, as opposed to just a diploma, which was what they offered. So when you were a kid, did you like draw little clothes on paper dolls and things like that? I had paper dolls. Mostly, I think Barbies really influenced me the most. Mm -hmm. I think like uh, with the whole dressing, like my mom knows how to sew, mm -hmm. and so that's where the whole sewing thing comes in, because she would make little clothes for my Barbies and she would teach me how to make them and stuff like that, and like the little fabric scraps and stuff like that. So, yeah. At what age did you start learning how to sew? Oh, wow. Um. Like properly so, or kind of so. <laughs> what? what age did you start? I guess. Like, um, I would say like maybe around ten. Wow. Yeah. Ten. Yeah, that's, that's what were you doing at ten? I was probably watching TV. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, most of the time. <laughs> yeah. Either yeah. TV or school. See, see what I'll see what the other people are doing. I'm very disappointed in you. <laughs> uh, so, uh, how about uh, Jennifer? How did you? Uh, yeah, it's basically the same thing. I've just been sewing like, my entire life. Yeah. We used to get together with my neighbor and we used to just make little clothes. So did you go to Ryerson also? I did go to Ryerson. Yeah. yeah. We're still like, we're in our, we're going into our uh, third year in September. Okay. Yeah. September. Now, this is a very special uh, partnership because all our designers are going individually. Yeah. But you two are decided to go into a uh, partnership. Why? Um. Like when we met, like in first year, we kind of we did like our first year project. We had to do like a, an outfit, and you have to pick a partner. And it just ended up doing this Jen, and we found that like our styles are very similar um, in terms of what we like and what we don't like, and uh, we work pretty well together. Actually, we don't have that many arguments <laughs> as opposed to some other people when they work. So, so the guys take turns. Do one of you do the top, and then one of you do the bottom. Um. Well, it's. It kind of like with with this collection that we did for the Chinese inspired um, collective, we did like two outfits each. Yeah. So one person did two, the other person did two. It's pretty even. Why don't you uh, show us some of the, uh, your designs in the back right here? Okay. Um, you want to go first? No, no. Okay. Okay. So this one here is well, this one's mine. <laughs> I'll just say which is mine and which is Jen. Um, this one is it's almost like a three piece. Uh, it's got, this is like a halter top, uh, and it's kind of long actually here, and then it's got like a, this is actually silk, and it's got a silk sash, and then this is the dress that goes with it. Uh, a special thing about this dress, is also in silk actually, um, 
and then it's actually shorter in the front and lower, longer, a lot longer in the back. So when you put it together, it's kind of an interesting combination of colors as well. So pretty uh, unique coloring there, color yeah. combination. We like bright colors. Yes. Bright colors. Well, as the, I guess the basic thing of fashion is to portray what you're trying to say. So what are you trying to say with this? Um, I think we're just trying to capture uh, what we feel would be like a suitable spring collection that's maybe not really something you can wear necessarily yeah. down the street, but something <laughs> that is, um, I guess, that challenges our creativity in terms of you know not having really any boundaries and um, what we think is suitable for spring. But why these three or four colors actually? Why pink and not blue? Or usually pink, usually people aren't willing to put it with, well, not these two colors. Yeah. 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 Um, we Why wanted did you these two yeah. colors. Um, I like, <laughs> I mean, I love pink. Okay, so <laughs> we wanted, like, we actually did this, this skirt wasn't supposed to be this color mm -hmm. necessarily. Um, it was supposed to be like more of a light blue, but every light blue that we found, it kind of Offset didn't, pink. yeah, it didn't match up to the pink in terms of, the pink was like way too overpowering, mm -hmm. so we decided to go with a blue that matched its uh, brilliance. What about the yellow? Yeah, yeah, this one right here. This one? This so, one is jets, actually. <laughs> yeah, show this. <laughs> um, okay, so this, this is two pieces to it, and it's kind of cute. Um, it's actually a very short skirt, too bad we don't have the model, but it's, it's, it's uh, quite, yeah, quite a little short little skirt. <laughs> so, um, this is, there's a bottom piece to this, it's just linen, and um, this piece, actually the top piece is what's really um, uh, interesting, is because uh, this part, these two pieces are both silk, the white is raw silk, and this piece is just silk charmeuse, and uh, what we did was put a lot of pleats into the top, part of, um, I guess you could say, it's almost like a stash, and um, then we put, actually, we sewed like different, the same ribbon, but we did like almost like a different textured technique here, and we kind of sewed it in, and then also it's got like a lot of beads across the top here too, so. Yeah, so this is actually interesting, because uh, mm -hmm. this actually goes with the uh, dress on the, the bottom dress. Yeah, oh, you mean the fabric? Yeah, no, yeah. The, the design goes with that too. So you, yeah. you can do a mix and match. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you could you could you could use like the the this part and like put it with the skirt if you wanted. Um, but yeah, that's the whole point of our collection. We didn't bring like we actually did bring one outfit today, but there's another yellow one that actually ties in the same kind of yellow with all the rest of it. And we like to think of it as like a progression. So this is the second outfit actually. So we start with the yellow and then the pink and then it goes to this one and we bring in some of the blue and then we end with the blue one back there and then that ties in all of our colors. Okay, so the blue here, who put the blue, blue one here? Oh, Jen did the blue. Jen did the blue. <laughs> They're proud of it. Okay, let's see what's, uh, what we have here. Okay, let's, let's hold it up. <laughs> <laughs> this is like, we get the most comments from this dress. Just because not many people see things like this every day, I don't think. <laughs> you don't see stuff like, they don't sell this in stores. <laughs> so, um, this is all linen. Um, well, basically, except for the ribbon. Um, there's just a lot of pleats up here, and then the ribbon just accents it. But the in interesting part of it up is obviously the little balloon here. It's like a little balloon skirt, and um, it's, it was actually it's like quite fun to make. I think, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's so like a lot of work. What actually is this? Uh, <clears throat> what's inside? Yeah, what's inside? Um, well, first of all, we had to hold the shape. So it, we actually, what's interesting is, you know what they use for sofas to make it kind of like solid? Yeah. They put on top of the wood. There's like a piece of like hard almost like a fabric card kind of a thing. Yeah, like we a have that. Not board really board. plastic. Well, kind of. It's yeah. like kind of, it's really stiff. And then we put like a band of that around and you can't see it, but <laughs> it's inside the dress in the middle of it to hold the round shape. And then um, we have tulle, which is kind of like this netting material. They use a lot for, like, use it a lot for like bridal well, stuff. Wasn't it a, like, that's the type of material that they used back in the, like, 20, uh, like 12th century to have the actually balloon dress. Yeah, yeah, they used a lot of that. So that was actually the concept from... Yeah, kind of. And then we kind of just, you know, wished it to give it a little more volume and then we put the fabric on top. And there's also, we spent a lot of time on beading. <laughs> so this this is also beaded as well on the bottom. There's more beads on the bottom than the top. Just to give it a little bit of extra detail. Okay, so 
guess you guys maybe like the beets. We do. Uh, the beets one. Uh, almost on every. <laughs> <laughs> it's, actually every it's actually in every outfit. So yeah. why beets though? Why not sequins? Why not sparkles? Sequins. I think sequins we think are kind of tacky. And it really just didn't work for the look we were going for. No, it's yeah. It's very fresh and stuff. Because I know sequins would be too overbearing. Yeah. Sequins I know is in this year. Um, yeah, everywhere. It is. It is. Well, uh, so I was just wondering why beads? Why not? Why not anything else? Why not like other little pieces of ribbons? Um, we I think we did a lot of ribbon. <laughs> <laughs> we did like we did ribbon on this. We did ribbon on that one, and uh, the other one we have ribbon too. So um, I don't know. Like beading, we think is I think it's a really subtle thing. Um, we're not really into like big massive detailing. Not like a huge print or something, but something very subtle that we think is very feminine. And, and beading does that, just a little bit of sparkle, it's not too much. But uh, usually, how long does it take for one of the uh, pieces to come together? Mm, depends what we're making, or if you, you want to like, like talk this specifically one, how, 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 how long does it take you to uh, <laughs> come up longest. with something? That one took, yeah, that one took the longest. How long was it? God, I don't even know. It took probably over the course of the entire month, because we took a month to make all four outfits. Okay. Approximately a month. So that one took the longest because of the balloon part. Um, we were having problems <laughs> keeping the shape of it, and that was the so that, the, the, the balloon was actually the uh, biggest problem because I had yeah, for yeah. the stress. Oh, yeah, yeah, Like from all the outfits, the other outfits are pretty straightforward. Yeah, they're pretty they're much uh, yeah. simple clothing. Mm -hmm. yeah. Actually, I don't know, I, I kind of like that one. It's kind of got an oriental feel, especially with the, with the sleeves there. Yeah. Oriental ties in with like a modern touch, a modern western this touch. This actually comes out like that. Because like when I see that sleeve, it kind of reminds me of like, like I don't know. I don't know if this, that's what you're going for. It's kind of looks like uh, those martial artists back in the old days where they had like that really big sleeves. Um, <laughs> I don't remember why we had it. <laughs> it. I guess it's supposed to. Be. Well, a lot of it, like we tried to have a lot of waist emphasis, or at least close to the bust near the waist, um, just because a lot of the Asian influences is always emphasis on the waist, like mm -hmm. Japanese people. Well, they have kimonos. They have the obi sash. Yeah, that's actually yeah. it. Kind of looks sort yeah, of like a kimono. Kind of, yeah, yeah, it kind yeah, of as well. Yeah, ours is like it. We take a little bit of Chinese, mm -hmm. but then we also take. We I think we took a little more from Japanese too. As well. So it's more like yeah. an Asian collective. It's an Asian. Asian inspired. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's, it's it's really hard to say. I mean, a lot of the uh, Japanese and Chinese culture are very tied in itself. Yeah. So it's really hard to say definitively where it actually came from. So you can't just say. Asian one. Yeah, so we have a very similar culture yeah. and background. Yeah, that's true. So. So, well, <clears throat> how about Korea? Um, what uh, can how why don't you describe what your other dress look like since it's not here? Um, it's kind of well, it's kind of a I guess you could say a, a smaller version <laughs> or downgraded <laughs> version of the blue, and it's it's the same kind of um same kind of top as the blue like it's got like a v-neck and um it's got the same kind of pleating yeah. but the only thing is it almost looks like a bag like it, instead of having a balloon it's almost like it comes down and then it kind of gathers at the bottom so it looks kind of like a deflated balloon in a way it's so, not stuffed it's not stuffed yeah that's the difference nice. yeah and it, it's like it's the same kind of, kind of yellow as the ribbon it's just a little bit more vibrant so so you start from like extravagant to more simple things to another little extravagant little dress. Is that what you're trying to go for? Um, what we say? it seems like, like the blue and the yellow seems to, well it doesn't, I, I shouldn't say it, it stands out more, it's just uh, like these two, three pieces, they can mix and match, but where these ones, you have to wear just that one piece. Or I guess you could probably wear white with the, uh, any of the dresses, <laughs> but yeah. like, <clears throat> it, it seems to have more emphasis on the bottom to yeah. the first two pieces. Um, that one actually, in the in the order that we do it in, that one comes last, oh, just because it's first and last. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So yeah, the yellow one it, it also stands out on its own. Like you can't really put anything over it. Mm -hmm. And if I guess if people tried to wear jeans underneath it, it would look kind of weird because it does end kind of like mid thigh, kind of close to the knees. So does the yellow one have a blue flower? Yeah, it does. Yes. It has a light blue flower. Yeah. <laughs> it can shine with the color yeah. scheme. Yeah, yeah, it does. Yeah, it has the light blue flower. What sort of designs do you have in mind? Sorry, design. Like our design philosophy or? In the future, what, what would you like to design? What would I like to design? Yeah. Now, I know these are all uh, women's wear. 
Have yeah. you ever thought of doing a children's or um, menswear? We're doing menswear. We're going to learn menswear this year. Not that I haven't done any, but um, I don't know. Like your Ken doll? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ken, Ken wore mesh shirts. So. <laughs> <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> but um, uh, I don't know. Like I like menswear. I love the temper. It's very structured, very tailored. But I mean, personally, I prefer women's wear just because of the versatility of it. Like, no offense to guys or anything. You know, they started wearing pink recently, but the range of colors that you have to pick from and um, just also the amount of detailing that goes into men's menswear is a lot more work. Men seems to be a bit uh, harder to design since they have, yeah. uh, I guess there's a, a bit of a limitation over women's wear. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. It's also because um, it's very hard to actually have, have uh, like, you can have a dress and it could look nice on like a dozen girls, but you can have a shirt, but it'll only look nice on one or two guys because of their fit. Uh, no offense to you, but all guys are shaped weirdly. <laughs> well, the proportions are a little different to women, Yeah, right? so, so it, yeah. you have like this one shirt, and it only fits a certain shape of person. All the other guys are kind of excluded because it's like tight on the waist or like baggy on the shoulders or something like that, right? Yeah. So. Now, I know you guys are still in school, but uh, what, what, what would you like to do after school? Um, I'm kind of, I'd like to design in the future, hopefully, but, um, you know, what with student loans, <laughs> it's kind of impossible, <laughs> but, um, when I get out of school, I actually do free, I'm a freelance stylist on the side, so I'd like to do that, and that's kind of just, like, so you can go brand. no, like, it's, it's, styling is more like wardrobe, so doing wardrobe for, like, magazines, at the, as I would love to do magazines, not celebrities, but magazines. That's kind of what I'm hoping to do. Oh, how about Jennifer? Uh, I just want to design. So you yeah. just want to have my own brand. Do you want to make your own brand? My own brand. your own collection? Yeah. Now, you two work so successfully to, uh, together on this collection. Like, do you think in the future when you graduate, when you have your own brand, when you're doing your own wardrobe, do you think you work together again? Like you create like a new, a whole new different line? I don't know, it's up in the air. <laughs> Probably, like we loosely talked about it, not really. Um, but we'll see how it goes, you know. Now, this is something I haven't asked the designers from before the show, mm -hmm. okay, from the show before. How how you like the, uh, the uh, so far, the group of the people who work with in the, in the fashion show right now? Like the designers, the models, how they like them? Um, I think it's an interesting mix of people. Uh, I mean, there's, I mean, they so obviously have done fashion. have you shown in uh, school, right? Yeah, we have. Yeah, so how has it different from the uh, ones from we are doing now? Um, different. I mean, the models we have, like, not that they're bad, they're not going to be as professional, and like we knew that, right? Off, offhand from the beginning. Yeah, they're shaking me really. So. It's, I mean, it's good for them because they get the experience of you know how to walk the runway, how to you know present yourself when you're out there, or when to smile, when not to smile, and you know what I mean, like your posture, all of that. They get to learn that, and that that's great because um, I mean it's their, their own experience. But I mean, in terms of like just the designers themselves, I guess um, it's an interesting bunch. We all have our different styles in the collective, um, and I mean I get along with mostly everybody, but you know like. Like, to be honest, like designers, we're a prissy bunch of people. Like, <laughs> uh, I love the way you said that. I mean, it's, uh, it's, it's an artistic thing. Yeah. Yeah. It's true. Like any sector of design you go into, I mean, you're going to have the people that think they're the best. And that's like everybody. And you need to think that you're the best to get anywhere in the business. Uh, this is actually a very interesting uh, fact that we have here. The show that we do right now is not more of a competition. Because uh, if you're only one competition, you would go out in the industry yeah. and you, you can compete with those people. Yeah. <laughs> if you try to compete with the people here within the fashion show right here, yeah. you win. If you win, if you win, what do you get? You, you don't really get anything from, from this. So there's not much <laughs> sense of com competing. Like, yeah. It's more of a training ground yeah. for you guys to, like, to uh, sharpen your skills, okay, to uh, get your abilities. I think what they mean is they have to have that mindset, they have to like, have it right from the beginning, it has to be drilled into their system so that when they do actually do yeah. compete in the real world, they'll, they'll be prepared and they'll, like, they'll, they'll be confident in what they design. Yeah. 
But that's like even in school, like you, I mean, you have, why are you even in school if you don't believe in exactly. what you design is, is, is you have to good, you know? You do. Yeah. You have to have the yeah, confidence. Yeah. So, what about Jennifer? What do you think of the show so far? They've been okay. Have they have they given you what you were expecting out of it? I guess generally, it's just all about getting exposure. How much of the, uh, how much exposure have you done? Uh, I don't I don't mean to put pressure well, on you, but like oh no pressure. <laughs> but like from, pressure. What, from what you expected, like out of this. Um, we've gotten like not to brag. <laughs> I'm sure I don't put me on this. Oh, I'm not being cocky or anything. Um, it's just uh, we've had like a couple of newspapers. Usually, when they do take shots of the clothes, they're usually of ours. Out of we all had, the other ones, we had some. It was yeah. just our clothes. Yeah. What is nice. that? Is I, I think they just like the colors. <laughs> <They're> just, <laughs> it's, it's just fun. interesting. It's yeah. Bold. It's colorful. It's it not very. Out. It's not very typical Chinese. You know, turns off kind of. What do you think of their clothing? Uh, I think they're actually pretty good. I, I, I was actually interested in buying them. <laughs> <laughs> How much were you charging? I think you might have to get I don't know. We well, put a lot of money into them. <laughs> <laughs> you can make another one that's similar. Yeah. What pants are you? Is it for you? <laughs> maybe I'll give them another, another sleeve, maybe a sash or something. I don't know. We could we could translate it, I guess, if we made it like black or something. <laughs> but then you would lose that vibrance. Yeah. You, like I think it would look different from if, if you, like, Suppose you were creating something for for Tommy here. What color would you would you give him? Like what kind of vibrant color would you? Lavender, yeah. lavender, no, well, what, like, so to say. I'm shaped it so weirdly. No, no, no. <laughs> it all no. It doesn't. No, what honestly, what honestly, what most. I don't know, for me, like as a designer, like I would say like usually go with people's skin tone for the colors. Not really who cares about body type. Like you can tailor anything to yeah. to the person's body, right? So I'd say like a light blue would be really nice on your skin tone because it's got more of a warm base to it. I would try some light blue colors. Maybe you should see some of the colors he wears off the set. <laughs> <laughs> well he's wearing black today. <laughs> yes, I wonder why. You know, the first show he's like, wear something colorful. Kinda of got scolded for wearing black, but anyways. <laughs> How, how, how about Susan? What would you like her to wear? What color? I think I could be suggesting she wear that. She wear a lot of colors, just because, um... She's like multicolored. No, well, not multi. <laughs> multicolored compatible. <laughs> yes. I, I, I kind of think Tommy wants to see some stars and some, like, some purple and blue around his eye, too. Right? <laughs> no, but yeah, get, like, I like the color you're wearing right now, too. Yeah, I just kind of threw this on. <laughs> Kind of embarrassed to say so. Okay, so uh, well, thank you for coming up here to do the uh, interview for us. No, thank you. Okay. And we hope you reap success out of the shows, out of your career. When you do get your own brand and you have fashion shows, be sure to let me know. I'll be right. right there. I know my little. Happy <laughs> 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 咁陣間見啦。